Hello everyone, so as most of you probably already know, Camille Vasquez is really, really amazing. So I apologize if I sound tired, I recently got back from a very, very long day, just been super busy. So yesterday, cross-examination concluded with Amber, and it was very incredible. Now, Camille did an excellent job. So she presented to the jury... In the beginning, the knife that Amber gave Depp as a gift. Now, Camille confronted Amber with the idea that someone who is in fear of their life probably would not gift this person they are afraid of with a knife. I mean, it's just common sense. So I thought this was really, really awesome and super smart thinking on Depp's team. So Camille also discusses how Depp often wore rings and asks Amber about this. And of course, Amber states that she doesn't know if she's ever known Depp to wear rings or not, which results in Camille responding to Amber, stating that Amber previously testified that she almost always saw Depp wearing rings, which once again points out a major flaw in Amber's corroborating testimony. Amber claims that Depp wore rings all the time, but if that were the case and Depp was actually injuring Amber's face, then there would have actually been visible marks. So the three-day not a hostage situation comes up and Camille asks what happened to Amber. And Amber states that three days after this alleged terrible experience Amber had, that Dr. Kipper, three days later, ended up visiting her in addition to Depp's security team. Now, Camille essentially states that if this actually happened to Amber, why would Dr. Kipper and Depp's security not do anything about this or report the fact that they saw Amber was severely injured? I think just about all of Amber's ridiculous claims can be countered with common sense, but this three-day not a hostage crap really lands in this common sense zone. If Amber was injured in the ways that she described, you know, such as being dragged through glass, having bottles shoved into places that caused her internal injury, then I really, really doubt Amber would not get medical attention right away or have these injuries noticed by somebody around her or noticed by Dr. Kipper or noticed by Depp's security. And we also discovered something new, and that was that someone filed a complaint against nurse Debbie Lloyd. So the complaint filed against Debbie Lloyd was a complaint filed against her nursing license, claiming that she was not taking claims of DV seriously by Amber. Now, I was actually really surprised by this, despite Amber constantly lying, and, and that alone doesn't really surprise me that she's a compulsive liar, but I mean, it did add on to the list of terrible things she's done to other people if she truly did it. So I noticed Amber's reaction to this was very interesting. She appeared shocked at the mention of this, and now I don't know if this is because she truly isn't the actual person who reported Debbie Lloyd, and that maybe somebody else did it on her behalf? Or if Amber is simply shocked that Depp's legal team actually found out about what she did. Because this could be something that, who knows, maybe she completely forgot that she did it. I mean, that's always a possibility. Or she could have thought, oh, they're never going to find out about this. And they found out about it. So overall, I really think that Camille vs. Amber was just amazing. I have a video Camille really gave Amber a run for her money. I mean, they went back and forth at times. It was so wonderful. I really, really loved it. I have some clips on that on my channel, so check that out if you're interested. Now, I'm sort of hesitant to mention this, but I found myself feeling a little bit emotional after Camille's testimony because, of course, she did an amazing job. I mean, it was just fantastic, and you could tell the Depp's team, Depp, and just everyone in that area was super proud of Camille and happy at what she accomplished, but also because it was so amazing to see Camille succeed in this way. I felt that there were several people out there that kind of doubted her abilities, 
and I'm not sure exactly why. You know, personally, I thought Camille was amazing from the start because, you know, I just felt that her opening statement was really good and clear cut, but also that she just radiates this amazing positive, you know, positive energy. Now, it's funny because I was having a chat with Dan, Les, Stevie, and Linda the other day, and we were all talking about how Camille was probably going to do an awesome job with cross-examining Amber. And I think I said something about Camille. Like, I was like, oh, I think she's going to do the best job ever. And Les joked and said um, how I must be Camille's number one fan. And it's funny because of how true it is. And I realized, I was like, wait, maybe maybe I'm a weirdo um, because, like, I'm, like, fangirling over her. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I, I just deeply admire her for being such a lovely soul. You know, she's not just there for the money. Like, I'm going to be honest. I feel like Elaine, let's be real. I'm not sure if she's there because she actually cares about whether Amber, you know, did or didn't defame Depp. But in this case, Camille and the rest of Depp's team, they're just lovely souls and you just love to see them succeed because you feel that they genuinely want to help Depp. And I'm going to throw a story in here at the end. So recently when I was at the Fairfax County Courthouse, I ended up encountering Camille in the restroom. Now, I was very nervous because, you know... I mean, it's Camille Vasquez. She's awesome. So I was really nervous. So we were both washing our hands and I managed to squeeze out a few words. I said to her, I was like, you're doing a great job. And she thanked me and she was very kind to me. And yeah, that was a really, really cool experience. Even though it was a short exchange because I was super nervous and I know that Depp's legal team is basically just a group of your average humans. You know, we're all, we're all people on this earth. But it's hard to not fangirl at every single one of them, knowing all of the amazing work they've done. I hope you guys didn't mind that rant at the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to try to be uploading videos more consistently if I can. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.